All right, high speed photography. Fire the flash in the darkness to freeze that motion. The camera shutter is too long on cameras. It's always gonna be blurry. Flashes are pretty bright and they're also very, very quick. Leave the motion freezing up to the flash, not your camera. To learn how to take a high speed photograph of fruits and vegetables being dropped into a fish tank. A RF602 wireless flash trigger. It will fire the flashes and illuminate your subject perfectly. Both flashes have plastic bags over them to protect them from water. It is on a 132nd power and it is basically pointing upward. The next flash basically pointing downward um, water reflections from the surface being projected onto the fruit or vegetable itself. Let me show you the background that I'm using. On another light stand is this reflector holder, but I actually have a board right here. So it's just a black board that you can buy at any office store. It's like a little claw that just kind of grabs onto it. Right now the camera's on F14, 160th of a second at ISO 100. And here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna push the button on my camera as soon as I drop them. So three, two, and one. So there we go. You saw there's a little bit of splash and there's the picture. It looks pretty good. If you wanted to take a picture of something that requires very accurate timing, such as popping a balloon, that happens so fast that you can't just push your finger on the button the very right exact moment and have it come out perfect. So that is where the time machine comes in. You can plug in a sensor, uh, so if you popped a balloon it would make that pop sound, this microphone would pick up that signal, the signal would go into the time machine, you can plug in your flash using a PC sync cable, the Lumen Pro LP160. This is a hundred and sixty dollars and it has the equivalent light output which is like something, it's like a $500 flash. That is what this can do. So for instance, if you popped a balloon, you can get it to take the picture at the exact moment you pop the balloon. If you stab a water balloon, or a balloon with say smoke or powder inside, anything like that, you can get it to capture the moment perfectly with this flash going off at just the right time. So this right here is just a, a microphone sensor. You can buy different sensors for this thing off of his website which is right down here in case uh, you didn't know what that website was, it's right there. Uh, you can get a laser sensor, you can get a vibration sensor. Whenever this laser is broken, so if I uh, move my finger across the laser um, beam or an object passes through the laser, like a ball or something like that, is it will capture that signal and it will go into this time machine and fire the flash. The next mode is the drops mode. This is the drip kit that you can buy separately. You'll fill water in it, in this container here, and then you plug in, it has, this is actually a plug right here, there, and whenever you take a picture or push the button, is it will fire the camera, it will spit out some drops, and you can capture the moment of the splash at just the perfect right moment. If you want to eliminate the motion blur completely up to the point where you can take a picture of a bullet zipping by the frame and freeze the, um, freeze the bullet and have the bullet be crystal clear, you're going to need a micro flash in order to take pictures that are that fast. Micro flashes are very expensive and they're very specialized. There's only one micro flash that I know about and that is in the ebook. You're going to have to look in the ebook, go to the high speed photography section and look at, at the section where I talk about micro flashes. Um, it takes a flash of a, I think it's a millionth of a second, so it's very, 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 very fast. <laughs> that's the time machine, that's, and that's high-speed photography.